Right, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about a new air continuous running BMEF fan. This is a fan it's made by a manufacturer called New Air, who are based in Wales. It's a nice looking fan, looks like you know, same kind of style as a lot of fans, but it's uh, nicely made. So what I'm going to explain firstly is the difference between an intermittent fan and a continuous running fan. So for most people, they will have an intermittent fan in their property. So you go in the bathroom, you turn the light on and the fan will activate. Some fans will have a run on timer, so if you turn the light off, the fan will go off. Or if you haven't got one of those, it will just go off. Um, issue with these fans are, they don't stay on long enough. How do you know that enough moisture has been cleared out of the room? So, you can get continuous running fans, such as this one. So this fan will run 24 hours a day, but it will do it in a few different modes. So firstly, trickle mode. Nice slow speed. You can hardly hear it, but it's just gently taking away that background moisture. Cost-wise, it's no more expensive than intermittent fans, and you're probably talking a few quid a year. It's really not a lot of money. Now, you also want the option for the fan to boost, to speed up when it's required. So, with this new air faith fan here, I'll take the cover off, and you'll see there's the fan itself. Uh, but there is this, you can do the settings here. So, the settings, uh, you can change the airflow settings. Now, the airflow settings are measured in litres per second. So that's how fast the, the air is moving through the fan. Now, in its basic running format, it will be on what we call the trickle speed. And those can go from zero to 20 litres a second. So you can decide based on, I mean, in theory, you should use approved document F, the building regulations, and that will tell you how many litres per second you should be doing for that fan in that room. And it will also tell you what the, uh, the boost rate is. So for example, a bathroom is eight litres a second. But when you work on electrical, you want to bear in mind noise, because if it's too noisy, it's going to turn it off, so it's pointless. But you don't want it on too low, so it's not doing anything. So if you're going to get one of fitted, you need to have someone who understands proof document F and understands ventilation and how to set it up correctly. But you have it on a trickle speed, be nice and quiet, and it will just run and do its own thing for a while. Then you will have something called the comfort boost. Comfort boost is activated when the humidistat senses extra humidity. And that is on a that will go from 6 litres a second to 29 litres a second. So you can alter on here how high or low you want the comfort boost to be. So it might just be a little bit higher than the trickle speed, it might be a lot more. And then you also have the option of a main boost. Now that's activated by either pulling this pull cord here that will do the main boost, and that will be from 8 to 29 litres a second. Uh, you can also have it so it's activated by your light switch. You could wire that directly to the fan, so when the light switched on, the fan will boost to its full boosting capacity. Uh, some people say if it's a mount on a ceiling, something like that, you'll only see that will be in the ceiling void, you wouldn't have the pull cord on. So what you can do if you want to have a pull cord, is you'd have a separate one in the room, on the ceiling, that you can pull down and it will still activate the fan. So that is your kind of basic settings speed wise. Um, there's also a function called constant flow and that kind of uh, will allow the unit to alter its flow based on uh, environmental conditions. So say wind is pushing against the fan, it will kind of increase the fan speed or lower it. And you might hear it kind of going up and down. It's to try and keep that constant flow of the setting that you've chosen. Uh, also, another important thing to note is the installation type. So if you're putting it through a wall, you need to select on here that it's gone through the wall. Or if it's going through a ceiling, you need to select it on the ceiling. Because it needs to kind of, through a ceiling, it's probably going to be more ducted in. So it's got further to go, it has to take this into account. Uh, like I said, there's a humidistat on it. Uh, you, there has a default setting, but it is possible to set it from 65% all the way up to 95%, or you can turn it off, but I don't know why you would. Um, there's also a run on timers as well. Uh, and yeah, it's a nice little fan. Uh, maintenance wise, take the cover off. When you take the cover off, the fan will stop. But to be extra safe, you should turn it off at the isolator. There should always be a separate isolator for a fan. And you can just use a cloth or a vacuum nozzle to take away any of the dust. This should be done every couple of months, ideally. Uh, I'm sure most people don't, but the risk is the longer you leave it, dust gets clogged up and eventually it will potentially harm the fan. Uh, but yeah, so this is the new air faith. Like I say, the magnetic cover goes on. It looks pretty nice. I think it's nice quality. 
So for me, these fans are a must rather than intermittent fans because they will remove a vast amount more air. They will do it quieter. Um, it's a no brainer to me. I don't know why people use intermittent these days. Uh, ideally, you wouldn't just have one on your property. In all wet rooms, you'd have one of these fans and then that will just help to take away all that moist air from the wet rooms and help stop it spreading around your habitable rooms and then that will lower the risk of condensation and mold problems. So that's the main reason for these. It will also improve your indoor air quality as well to help you remove volatile organic compounds, so things like your sprays and things like that, or candles and um, that. Now, these do require a bit of background ventilation, so if you've got trickle vents, that can help. But however, you must never have a trickle vent in the room that this fan is fitted in. So it's a continuous fan. You don't have them in those rooms. You do have them in the habitable rooms. Uh, so overall, that is the, that's the new FA fan. There's plenty of other continuous running fans, different manufacturers. Um, this is the one that we predominantly use, uh, just because I personally like the quality of it. I've got these installed in my own home. Um, so that's why I'm giving you a talk on this fan rather than any other particular one. But like I say, the principle of continuous ventilation is the same. Um, so this is a decentralized mechanical extract ventilation fan. Decentralized because it is separate fans in separate rooms. You can get continuous running systems which are centralized. So that's one big fan and you have ducts coming off to go to multiple wet rooms and it's a centralized system. Different thing. Do a video another day on that one but this is the new fa fan hope you find that interesting and uh comment below